Okay, so starting off here, we're gonna create a trade, and somebody in the comments did inform me that you don't have to tag something for review, all you have to do is turn off the filter, so that's what I'll be doing. We're giving away the Alola Ninetales, which we ended off on the last series, uh, on the last episode, and just gonna try to get the Garp Odor. It's a great deck, I mean, lots of people play it, very good deck, relies on items on your opponent's discard, and the trade does go through which is good, and it didn't show it because I wasn't on the device when it uh, did go through, but you can check counts, it did go through. And from here, uh, we're gonna try to get an Oranguru. Now, Oranguru is a staple, and not, it's a tech in some decks, instead of like Octillery. And we do get that, as you can see, the trade went through. Uh, it is a hollow too, so it is a trade up. Although it might not be played as an, in as many decks, it is a hollow, so it's more rare, harder to come by. Then from this Ranguru, I search around a little bit. I think maybe I could get an EX or GX out of it, although I don't try for that. I mean, maybe you could, I could have gotten like a Necrozma out of it, just because it, is, it was a tin promo and it is playable. It's about $3 right now. <coughs> But from here, yeah, you can see I tried to search through, thinking about maybe selecting the EX and GX. But instead, I just go for Octillery. Octillery is a step up from an Oranguru, and it is played more than Oranguru is, so I don't think I'm going to get the trade, but it would be a big step up if I did, and that'd be really helpful in the trade. But the trade does not go through, sadly, so we're still holding on to that Oranguru. I think maybe it wasn't the bestest idea to trade up to that, but... Then from here, I'm thinking maybe this Oranguru could get us a bunch of bulk. I mean, not exactly bulk, but more common cards. So then we have more trades up, and then I could get more trades through. And it's basically restarting, I guess, but with more cards, so... Yeah, I just search around for a little bit, but what I end up doing is just putting in some bulk, and then later on, the bulk can be traded for more things and just keep on get getting traded up until I have more of that stuff, so. Then I come across the Bulbasaur, and I think, hey, why not throw the entire line in? Now, I do debate about counts for a little bit. Uh, and whether I want the Ivy or Venusaur, but I do throw it in later. And I believe I double back on it. Yeah, I do. And then I think I, once uh, everything's done, I just end up with a 2 2 2 count of the Bulbasaur, Ivy Sword, Venusaur. And then flipping through some more, find the Zoruas. I mean, Zoro uh, evolves into Zoroark. Zoroark is playable. I mean, both versions. There's a non-GX and a GX. They're both very playable. And so, I think, why not throw those in? And then a Wimpod, because Galissapod's really playable. And that's Wimpout, which is the one used. And here's me just changing the number of each of the ones that I get. I do end up with a 2-2. But if this trade goes through, then I have a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff to trade to. And so, then... Yeah. And thankfully, the trade does go through, so now there's... I have a bunch of new cards, and I need to just start trading them up again like I was before. And this will take a little bit. I think it's like a three-minute clip to get all the trades in. What it, it... All it is is if... I mean, I'll have... Now I'll be able to get the stuff go up six times as fast because I have six times... Six min as many cards... And in theory, that's how it should work. Hopefully it does work that way. I debate about doing two bowl swords in one, but I believe I just do the one, because then I can get more trades out of it. And then, as I did before, I traded the bowl sword for a Remoraid, and that trade went pretty well, pretty well, so I decided, hey, why not do that now? And then I forgot what I did with the other bowl sword.
Oh yeah, so I grab a Trubbish. Trubbish evolves into Garbodor, and Garbodor is playable. So I think, hey, why not? I mean, it might work out, you know. Then it's a playable card because it, it is an evolving basic, and it is one of the best evolving basics of like of the Trubbishes. It's the one you want to play. Then for Wimpod, I'm debating about what I should trade for, but I do go for the Curlia. Curlia, it's uh, uncommon. It's playable. The That trade is probably more risky than any of the others, just because, I mean, it's a common or an uncommon, but they are both playable, so if it goes through, that would be very nice. And then for the Zeruas... Yeah, I believe I put both, give both away, and then I go for a trainer this time. First trainer that we'll be trading for, and a Max Elixir. Now, Max Elixirs are really playable and expanded as well, sometimes the standard. And so, they're about $7 in real life, so I think maybe this would work, go through. I'm not exactly sure because they are just some common trainers, but they are very playable as well. So, hopefully that one will go through. Then from here, we've got the Ivysaurus still to give away. I mean, I believe left what's left is we have the Ivysaurus and Venusaurus. They're both uncommons from Shining Legends. And I think maybe the Ivysaurus could... I mean, they're an uncommon evolve into Venusaur. Venusaur has an okay ability. I mean, it's worth testing out. So maybe we get something for the Ivysaurus just if people need some evolving uh, uncommons. And I think, hey, why not grab Drill? Now, I grab one of each because I think two Swarming Stings would be too much because Swarming Sting is a rogue deck, I guess you could call it. It's a, it's an okay deck. Not relevant in the format. And the other one is just there for extra. And then the final trade is Venusaur. Now, this is a big trade that I do. I try to get the two, give away two Venusaur. And they are both uncommons, and I actually go for two rares. Now, it is a big step up, but, I mean, Venusaur does have a good ability, so maybe it'll work out. Yeah, so first I do think about getting a Garbodor for the two Venusaurs, but instead I go for a Volcanion and a Registeel Volcanion because it's playable in Volcanion, and Registeel because it does accelerate energy. It's okay in some decks. But yeah, now that this video is coming to an end, do check out our Instagram account, Bulbasaur Bros TCG. And yeah, this has been Bulbasaur Bros TCG, signing off.